Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Chef Matt. And Here. I'm Hollywood. We have the Chef Hollywood. Uh, we're going to do uh, mahi fish tacos today. So in your bag, we've included uh, a mahi filet. We've also included some chorizo. So you can do a chorizo taco as well. Feel free to use this however you'd like to. You can mix it with the mahi, do a separate taco, whatever you'd like. We have your tortilla, fresh cilantro, your seasoning packet, which consists of uh, granulated garlic, seasoning salt, and a little bit of black and Cajun seasoning. And then, of course, you guys are very familiar with rice. Also, we have a little bit of oil to cook things and all our fresh ingredients for a salsa. So to get started, of course, we're going to do our rice first. And uh, so we have one cup of rice, which means two cups of water. And as uh, Chef Everett is getting that going, I will show you guys how to do your salsa. So with our tomatillos, this is a basically a green tomato, southwestern. You're going to peel the leaf off. And these are very tart and bitter. And so what we're going to do is counteract the flavors with it with sugar and citrus. So first off, you're going to take your knife, make sure you hold it, grip it with your pointer finger and your thumb. You want it resting on your pointer finger. You're going to take the ends off your tomato, tuck your fingers in, you're going to slice down the middle, flat side down, slice down the middle again, and then turn it sideways and then you're going to make smaller slices very carefully and that's going to go into your bowl you want to keep in mind you want this stuff to be kind of bite size but this is going to make up a majority of the taco Again, flat side down, cut in half, turn sideways, bite sized pieces. Same thing with the tomatillo. And take the top off. Now, if you notice, the tomatillo is very dense. Cut it in half. and then bite-sized pieces. Uh -huh. And this is always going to give you a, a nice color to your salsa as well. You have the red, you have the green. So again, take the top off here. Flat side down. Right in half. Flat side down. bite sized pieces. So that looks pretty good for our salsa there. Now we're going to go to the cilantro. And so with the cilantro, you're going to have to de-stim it. So all that means is you're basically just going to pick the leaves off the cilantro. And the stems you can set to the side. And you should be doing all this while your rice is cooking. 
That way when your meal is done, your rice is done, and everything comes together at the same time, all you gotta do is put it together and plate it. And keep in mind, cilantro is a very, very strong herb. So you don't wanna use all of it, but we're gonna go ahead and dice all of it because we can use it as a garnish as well. You can always take it, take it out, or you can always put it in, you can't take it out. So we're going to bunch it together like this, the best you can, and then take your fingers out of the equation. We're just simply just going to rock the knife back and forth. Flat hand on top of the knife, keep your fingers out of the way, and just rock back and forth. Move it back together in a pile. And then again. Pile and repeat. Pile and repeat. Exactly. And the longer you do this, the smaller your uh, cilantro is going to be diced. We don't want it too small because, again, it's very, very strong. All right, so that's about good there. It's kind of a rough chop. And so we're going to take about half of this. We're going to go ahead and put it in our salsa mixture. And then we're going to set the rest to the side. Next you have an onion. And so with the onion we've already kind of helped you out a little bit and pre-sliced uh, it, pre-cut it. So all you really have to do is just take the knife, again watch your fingers. If you have a uh, hard skin like that, that's garbage, just throw that away and you're just going to run it down to dice it. Keep in mind while you're doing this to stir your rice and check your rice. Don't forget about you got a pot of rice going. Absolutely. So that's a little big so I'm just going to do the same kind of technique as the cilantro and I'm just going to run my knife through it a few more times. And then again, I'm only going to use a little bit of it. This onion is pretty strong. And then the rest, I'll set to the side. I can use for something else. And then finally, your lime. So the citrus is a big, big part of the salsa. What you want to do is kind of roll it, put a little pressure on it. It activates the juice inside. Cut it in half. Make sure you don't have any seeds in there, which these limes are uh, pretty seedless, so you should be okay. And then you simply just squeeze it. If you need to use two hands, that's fine. And then of course, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of sugar. If you guys have it, you don't have to add this. But with the acidity of the lime and then the sweetness of the sugar, it's going to help balance the flavors a little bit. Get you a spoon and kind of stir it up. You can do this ahead of time. The longer you let it sit, the better it's going to be. And of course, you can add salt and pepper to it. Really, whatever seasoning you like. and our salsa is done, so we're going to let that sit. Since we've used our cutting board for only vegetables, now we're going to go to our dish. And so we're going to pull our mahi filet out. Same kind of thing. We're going to make long, thin strips. Again, you want these to be bite size. Turn it sideways. And you're going to cube it. And so one filet should be enough for about two tacos. And then we're also going to do a chorizo taco. All right, so now that our salsa is done and our meat and plaza is all set up, we have our diced onion, we have our diced cilantro, we have our mahi already cubed up. 
We need a pan for our tortillas. We'll go ahead and lay our tortillas out. We're going to heat these up in the oven. So you want to set your oven at about 350 degrees. And just lay these flat. And we're going to throw these in right at the last minute after we get things going. Two saute pans, one for fish, one for the chorizo. We're going to go ahead and get these pans hot with a little bit of oil or butter. You look at our rice, our rice is uh, almost done. All the water's out of it. So we add a little bit of oil to each pan. And then always regulate your heat. You don't want it full blast. You kind of want it like a nice medium high. Work your oil around so the whole pan is oiled on the bottom, not just the edges or the middle. That way when you put your food in, it won't stick in the middle. With any leftover onion you have, you're going to go ahead and throw that in the chorizo pan. Now we're going to take our seasoning packet and we're going to season up our mahi. So you should have some nice cubes, throw it on a plate. And you can use your fingers, you can kind of pour it in a little bit. You want to be pretty liberal with this because we're technically going to blacken it. It's very salty though. Take a spoon, use your hands, make sure you wash your hands before you touch this and after. And you're going to coat it. And then of course, directly to the sink to wash your hands. Now is we're going to add a chorizo to the onion. We're going to use a spoon. Just to pick it up and mix it around so it don't stick. You just want to mix it in so it cooks all the way through. Just remember for y'all like spicy. Chorizo is spicy. Now our pan for our fish is hot, we're going to go ahead and add that. Can you hear the sizzle? Again, make sure you regulate your heat. If you don't hear the sizzle, turn your heat up a little bit. Nice, medium, high. Now that everything's cooking, we're finally going to add our tortilla in the oven. The oven should be preset to 350. These are not going to take long. It'll take about three or four minutes max on those things so they get really super hard on you. Yep, we just want to heat them up. you got to keep your tree for working. If not, you'll see what happens here. It sticks. So make sure you get a good flat pan and you know, plenty of oil. Don't be afraid to use a little oil. And as you see, our chorizo is pretty much done now. So all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn it off and let it sit in the pan so it stay warm. 
until we're ready to make our taco. So the trick with fish is you want a cooked through product. See how that sear looks? It's nice and brown. You know, flip it for the advanced ones. You can kind of do your pan flip like that. If you can't do that, that's okay. Just use tongs. Flip your fish. You want this cooked all the way through. It's going to be nice and flaky. It's a white fish, so it can't be raw. And you can see the difference when it's cooked all the way through and when it ain't. You'll see it might be white, it'll be a little brown or pink. Again, that takes about five, maybe five, six minutes pretty much if you got a good pan and the, and the heat's right. And so that's what it's going to look like after it's cooked. It's going to be nice and flaky. It'll just fall apart. It's also why it's very important to cut everything the same size, that way it cooks evenly. If in doubt, never fear to cut one in half. You know, just to double check yourself if you if you have a second thought, you think it's not you can always split one in half and look. Absolutely. And so here's a good example. This is a bigger piece. We're going to go ahead and use our tongs and cut. You see it's still a little bit raw in the middle. We're going to keep going just a little bit longer. Kind of keep stirring, flipping. It's okay if it falls apart on you. It's going in tacos. And then there's our biggest piece that is finally done. Nice and flaky, cooked all the way through. We're going to kill our heat and set this to the side and then we will plate up all right so you're going to use the oven mitt or a dry towel to pull your pan out of the oven be careful this is very hot your tortillas you don't want them crispy but you want them warm and so what we're going to do is go ahead and fold these in on each other like this So that way you have two tacos facing outward and one down the middle. For the one down the middle, we're going to do our chorizo. Think about presentation purposes. Just remember the rim belongs to the chef. That's right. And then two on the side, we're going to split our fish up in it. So we got mahi and chorizo. That's a Mexican fish. But we separated them. And then finally, you're going to add your salsa mix that you made earlier. Stir it up just a little bit before you put it on so you make sure you get some of that lime juice mixed around in there, though. Get all that flavor down in it. Yep, you want all the colors. And like Chef Everett said, make sure the rim is clean, everything is neat, and then finally we're going to add some the rest of our cilantro on the top. And there we have it. We have two fish tacos and a chorizo taco. Enjoy. I went through all that to cook rice. Chef Matt don't want to use it, but 
on the side of the plates on each on each side you can just put a little mound of rice just like that I'm only going to do the one side for you but you can do it on both sides that way you kind of soak up and if you want you can slide your tacos up and you can put the rest of your um, salsa or the um, salsa on the top of it as well and mix it in so you have a uh, like a little raw stir fry.